I'm in the mood for reading. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for reading. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for reading. Reading this book with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? Do you want to read this book today? Hey, hey, what do you say? Do you want to read this book? I certainly do. It has a very, very cute little cover that shows a dog looking at himself in a puddle, a puddle of water. And the book is called Puddle Pug by Kim Norman. And the pictures are by Keika Yamaguchi. So relax. Kinder students, and let's read this book together. Puddle Pug. Percy was a puddle pug. He loved puddles of every sort. Swamp puddles, stomp puddles, ready for romp puddles, foggy puddles, froggy puddles, deeper than a doggy puddles. Percy loved puddles so much, he put them on a map so he could remember where to find them. All of Percy's puddles were pleasing, but he had yet to find the perfect puddle. Some were nearly perfect, like this one, and this one. Oh, look at those little chicks, and this one. But something was always missing. One day, Percy heard splashing on the other side of the fence. He peered through, and there it was! The perfect puddle! It was big, it was brown, and it was oh so friendly. Percy couldn't resist. He squeezed under the fence and splash! Ooh, cool brown water. Ah, squishy, swishy mud. It was puddle paradise. Percy loved his new puddle. Uh oh. But his puddle did not love him back. Percy couldn't get that perfect puddle out of his head. On his daily walk, he couldn't enjoy the puddles he did find. Too buggy, too sluggy, too tiny, too spiny, too smelly, too yelly, too endless, too friendless. Only one puddle was just right, and it was behind that fence. Maybe I could blend in, Percy thought. Mama's eyes twitched. Percy tried sharing a tasty treat. Mama's nose twitched. He even tried an underwater route. Mama's tail twitched, and she pitched Percy out of the puddle. The next day, Percy felt a drop of water on his head. Oh, good! Rain means more puddles, he thought. But then, ah, the wind began to whistle through the branches of the old tree. The whistle grew to a howl overhead. Percy heard a different sound. Crack! Pigs and pugs scattered as the tree crashed into the wallow. By sundown, Mama Pig had found all but one of her piglets. Where was teeny tiny Petunia? Petunia was too tiny to be gone so long. Where would a too tiny pig go? Percy wondered. He stared at his puddle map. <gasps> then he remembered the perfect place for a too tiny pig. 
in the two tiny puddles. When Percy pranced through the fence with Petunia on his back, Mama's whole body twitched with piggly jiggly joy. Percy is a puddle pug. He loves puddles of every sort. Blue puddles, dew puddles, thick as turtle stew puddles, wide puddles, tide puddles, even partly dried puddles. But there's one perfect puddle he loves the most. And Percy's puddle loves him right back. Aw, what a wonderful story. And what a nice dog to save Petunia the tiny pig. I love the book and I hope that you also enjoyed it. Bye! <laughs>